exam season once again. With the king of all management exams in India, CAT 2015 fast approaching, the pressure to get into a top college and score well is getting high. Hello and welcome. Today on the show, we explore what makes an MBA a popular career choice and how you can get the best MBA education in India and abroad. Management education that underwent a few troublesome years in the recent past is once again witnessing a new hope as corporates and startups look forward to investing in management talent. According to the Global Survey of Employers report, demand for business school graduates will see a strong upward trend in 2015 with 84% of companies worldwide planning to add new MBAs to their workforce. And while there has been a constant debate about the employability of MBA graduates in India and the return on investment after studying an MBA, experts still believe that the value of an MBA remains intact. Yeah, I think MBAs have always been popular. There will be waves of up and down in terms of uh, applicants writing CAT and applying for admissions and so on. But I think MBAs are required and their popularity is, is sustaining. Whether this is the right time for someone to do an MBA really depends on where that person is in his career. But uh, there's no right time and wrong time to do an MBA. Depending on where a guy is in his career, this is as good a time as any. Although several non-MBA and MBA equivalent study options such as postgraduate diploma in finance or postgraduate diploma in international business remain open for students, pursuing a full-time MBA program is still the popular choice. According to reports, around 2.5 lakh students applied for MBA programs in the country last year and to the global trend of seasoned professionals studying an MBA degree. MBA programs in India attract a greater level of fresh graduates. MBA will always remain popular. Because MBA, you have one has to understand what MBA is all about. MBA is not just a degree or a piece of paper. MBA is competence. Uh, it is popular among the industry because they have looked for people who can deliver kind of activities which are required to be done, the jobs which are required to be performed. And for that, they, do, they are looking for some kind of competence and capabilities. For example, if the industry is looking for sales force, they require a team which can do the selling. If they are preparing, a, uh, they require people for formulating the marketing strategies, then they require people who can formulate those kind of strategies for the corporates. If they are looking for somebody who can raise funds, then require for those kind of capabilities. Another interesting trend seen across the country is the rising popularity of MBA among female students. Reports suggest that around 90.2% female candidates wish to take up MBA as their topmost career choice. I'd like to go for the MBA and it will be in marketing or PR or advertisement. I've worked in that field so I'd like to continue. While reports suggest that MBA tops the postgraduate course's popularity chart, a specialization in finance, human resource, information technology and operations management are the most preferred specializations by students and industry alike. If you really look at marketing is popular because no company would survive if it's not able to uh, to, to, to sub, uh, sell the product or service what it is producing. So marketing will ever remain popular. Finance will ever remain popular. Man management in any case is very, very important because uh, every other function is performed by the HR, the, by, by the people. Operations again is very, very popular. Strategy is very, very popular. So the courses are popular and the companies know about it that which kind of faculty which institution has and uh, which kind of uh, learning processes which institution has. So the, according to the institutions uh, uh, are chosen by the recruiters to visit. MBA programs can be of different types such as a two-year degree program, a distance learning program or an accelerated MBA. While most of the programs offered in Indian institutes are a two-year full-time MBA degree program, top institutes like IIMs and other autonomous business schools offer a postgraduate diploma program in management equivalent to an MBA degree. A typical MBA curriculum covers core business areas such as accounting, finance, marketing, among others, thus generating a certain level of mastery in business management. From corporate careers to entrepreneurship and founding startups, a degree MBA will open up numerous career opportunities for a graduate. With an unprecedented competition in the market today and the need of having skilled business professionals for managing business operations, career after an MBA will not just be promising but also rewarding. 
While starting up is one of the hot choices among graduates today, some other popular careers after MBA include business analysts, ERP consultants, HR manager and marketing professionals among others. I graduated from IIT Bombay in 1984, did my MBA from IIM Bangalore in 1986, worked in the IT industry in India for 15 years in sales, marketing and product management roles, 10 plus years in Wipro and have been in venture capital since 2001. I did my MBA because after graduating or while I was in IIT, I realized engineering was not for me and in those days, uh, if you didn't do MBA then you were stuck in doing some very low level jobs and that's the reason I decided to do an MBA. I did not follow the beaten path. In my times FMCG and banks were the two most sought after jobs. Since I was from IIT and I had done a technical education I felt I should take a job in a in a company that had at least a little bit of technology to assuage my guilt. Um, and so I chose to work in the IT industry. I joined a, a startup in those days. The word startup was not used, but I joined a company called Computer Point in sales. And since then, I've made my career both in the IT industry and now in venture capital. I think career advancement is the key reason why most people do an MBA. It helps you get into different types of jobs, different. Uh, helps you advance in your career in a, in a smooth manner and in general broadens your perspective and opens up your mind in a way that technology education typically does not. In terms of skills, I think it gives confidence to handle various types of situations in business. You get an overview of all the functions, finance, marketing, personnel, organization, behavior, production and so on. So the basic grounding of all business aspects is very strong and then you can of course specialize in one. But I think most importantly, uh, in what's critical in an organization is an ability of an individual to work in teams and I think one of the things that MBAs teaches you very well is how to work effectively in teams, how to build teams and work effectively in teams. My sincere advice to people who listen to me is that don't pursue jobs that give you higher salary. That's a myth. Over a period of time, if you pursue just the high salary job, you'll end up highly dissatisfied and frustrated in your career. Among the various MBA entrance exams conducted in India, CAT with its core applicability at multiple MBA institutes across the country is the most preferred entrance exam for an MBA program. CAT is designed in a way that a greater emphasis is laid on skills in quantitative data analysis, data interpretation abilities and language skills among others. This time the change over in the pattern would be, the first section would be quantitative aptitude, 34 questions, second section was DILR, 32 questions and the last section verbal ability, 34. But if you look at it closely, the pattern or the weightage for each section has remained the same. It is speculated that the examination will have a heavier bend towards application of concepts. Verbal section is expected to be the game changer having a good mix of para jumbles, sentence correction questions and reading comprehensions from philosophical topics, science and history. While on the other hand, quantitative aptitude and data interpretation section is expected to be dominated by geometry and algebra. Quant is definitely going to be a tougher section because last year was an exception. Quant was very easy last year. So this year, this will definitely be on the tougher yeah. side. But the overall paper would be on tougher side because count number one, we have three sections with times divided. So previously, what students used to do was, let's say if I am a student who is stronger in quant, so I would finish my quant paper first, I would devote the rest of the time in the verbal area where I am weak in. But right now, I will not be having that leeway to actually make things familiar for me, matlab, better for me. For students looking forward to exam options other than CAT, exams such as MAT, ATMA, IFT, among many others are great options that will allow an applicability to multiple MBA institutes. The best strategy should be, okay, I should tackle only the easier ones, let go of the rest. So easy questions, please try to solve them. 
try to avoid the difficult questions and all. That should be the best strategy, I feel. It's time for a short break. On the other side, we explore how you can get the best MBA education outside India.